It's my privilege to introduce a panel as a feminist who has used restorative approaches in my practice for many years. <clears throat> I'm very pleased to bring together a group of people who exemplify a feminist vision of justice, and many of us are striving daily to achieve that. They will share with us their learning from research, from practice, and experience, and we'll have an opportunity to explore these possibilities at our session tomorrow. I don't want to take any time away from my panel, I just want to introduce them to you. I have Dr. Kim Stanton, who will speak first. She's a human rights equality and constitutional lawyer. I know that she's worked on the, in, in the United Nations on the Gaza Strip with the African Women's Lawyers Association to address sexual harassment in Ghana and providing legal support to the legal team of Bosnia Herzegovina genocide case, which was an international court of justice. She served on the Truth Commission in West Africa. She practiced in Vancouver and Toronto, and her focus has been on Aboriginal human rights and administrative law. Next, we have Todd, Augusta Scott. Todd is known for many of us locally. He's a Nova Scotian. We know his work is, has an international impact. He's worked on domestic violence and narrative therapy. Todd spent 20 years as the coordinator of Bridges, a domestic violence counseling research and training institute here in Nova Scotia. He teaches and has taught at Dalhousie, and he's presented his work in Asia, Europe, and the British Isles. Next, we have Dr. Joan Pinnell. Joan is a professor of social work and director of the Center for Family and Community Engagement in North Carolina. Previous to her position, she served as department head of social work in North Carolina State University. Prior to her return to the United States, she was interim director and chair of the PhD studies program at the School of Social Work at Memorial in Newfoundland. So we're bringing all parts of Canada and other uh, countries together today. She also taught in Manitoba at the Faculty of Social Work. Next is Dr. Mimi Kim. She is a longtime advocate and activist working on the issue of violence and sexual assault in immigrant communities of color. She's co-founder of Insight, Women and Trans People of Color Against Violence, and the founder of Creative Interventions, a resource center committed to the creation and promotion of alternative community-based intervention. She's working on a California statewide capacity building project to implement the uh, creative interventions model and other transformative justice related intervention. She's an assistant professor at California State University. Please join me in welcoming these families. 